Hey, good morning, CFFs. It is bright and early Saturday morning. I'm up very early this morning um, to record this video. I am really under the weather. You might be able to hear it in my voice. I did come down with a cold, but thank God it's not COVID. I have my tea here, and I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible because once I talk too long, I start to cough. So, but how are you guys doing, my Christian friends and family? I am coming to you with day 13, Saturday morning. It is nasty weather here. It's pouring, raining. You might be able to hear it in the background some. It is pouring down, raining. And there's probably three of us here in the house that's sick. And so... I wanted to make sure I got this video out. It's just one little scripture, but I tell you, I could not do this without um, adding the scripture to, to it. I didn't know what day I was going to do it, but I thought today was the perfect day. So here we go. <clears throat> uh, Matthew chapter 6. And we are going to read verse 11 it's i read this every single morning uh, matthew chapter 6 verses 9 through 13. Uh, some people say the our far prayer uh, the disciples prayer i call it my prayer <laughs> um, matthew 6 verse 11 and it simply reads one little sentence give us this day our daily bread as we approach 2023, which is tomorrow, um, a new year, we want to take our time. We want to be intentional on the things that we do. And we want to ask God to give us this day our daily bread. We're not worried about yesterday. It's already gone. We're not focusing on tomorrow. It's not promised to us. So therefore, we're just going to worry about this day. Give me what I need to sustain in this day and take me through, carry me through, prepare each day for me. One day at a time, like the song says, one day at a time, sweet Jesus. So as you approach 2023, learn to slow down, take your time, and just ask God to give you what you need for today. I need this for today. And wait on your blessings. Be patient as you wait for that prayer to be answered. He will answer it. He's not a God that he should lie. And he will answer your prayer. And he will answer it according to his will. And so we must take our time and just be faithful and stand on the word and have faith that God is going to do exactly what he said he's going to do. Okay, <laughs> excuse me. So until tomorrow, that's our last day, uh, 14 days of scripture uh, to pave the way for a blessed new year. So until tomorrow, remember, find three good things in your day, something that brings a smile to your face, joy to your heart, and warmth to you so a warmth to your heart and joy to your soul so until next time keep me in your prayers as i battle this cold and i will talk to you guys tomorrow bye